St. Mary's University mourning the loss of artist Brother Cletus Bellman. Bellman, known simply as Brother Cletus, died yesterday at the age of 82. And while his fans and friends are saddened by his death, they tell our Stephanie Cerna his artwork will certainly live on. We lost a great artist, but we lost a really good man. Brother Cletus was a Marianist brother and an artist in residence at St. Mary's University. Most people knew him for his beautiful artwork that adorns the buildings across the campus. It's wonderful and bright and, and you know, kind of uplifting. And, um, and as a man, that's what he was. He was wonderful and bright, uh, you know, from the loud ties that he wore and, and his pajama bottoms <laughs> he wore outside. Brother Cletus moved to San Antonio in 1977 and opened the St. Mary's University Art Center. Father Tim Eden says during Brother Cletus's time at St. Mary's, he touched a lot of lives, many who became fans of his artwork. We have nine Cletuses on our walls, so we call it a mini Cletus gallery. And there's a lot of other people um, in the San Antonio community that also have told me they have mini Cletus galleries in their home. Janae Margo Gonzalez, who worked with Brother Cletus, says he had battled cancer before and was hoping he could beat it again. Secretly, I was just hoping that he would surprise us again and be okay. So when I got the news within an hour of his passing, I got word and um, it just, I, my heart was just heavy. And uh, yeah, it's been a difficult, difficult day. Cletus was uh, uh, famous, notorious maybe, um, for being just very generous with this stuff. And, and I think if I, I had to pick anything other than the fact that he was a great artist. I, I think he was really a very good man. Stephanie Serna, KSET 12 News. Generous indeed. The last time I saw Brother Cletus, he was painting a mural at the Haven for Hope. Services for Brother Cletus are tentatively set for Monday at Holy Rosary Church at 4 p.m., but you can check the St. Mary's University website for any updates. We'll have that link on our site at ksat.com.